Well, uh, we're here at Crawford Brew Works in Bettendorf. Keith, I feel like this is the beautiful before picture, and I can't wait to be here for filming the, the after segment. But you guys have started construction, and uh, man, I was, we were here not that long ago for the mm -hmm. ceremony when we were with the shovels and the dirt, and now there's four walls and a ceiling and all kinds of work going on in here. Yep, finally coming together. So Definitely coming together. What, what can we expect when we're here at Crawford Brew Works? Well, um, what our game plan here is, as far as we want to have something set up as far as a unique brewery, kind of complementing the Quad Cities, working along with some of our customers that we've built equipment for at Crawford Company. Um, we're going to be doing some flagship beers, obviously some seasonals and stuff like that. Um, we're going to have food truck services here for people. We're going to cater parties where people can rent out the mezzanine that's behind us. Um, there's going to be a multitude of different things that we've actually gotten in the game. And we so. featured Crawford on, on previous shows because mm -hmm. you guys make this make, equipment. Yep, make all the equipment. So this brewery will not only be a fun place to come and hang out and try delicious beer, but mm -hmm. it's also going to be something of a showroom yes. for breweries all across America to come and see the great work that you guys do. Yes, it will. One of the reasons that this whole thing came to fruition was we do a lot of training um, we do R&D with our product lines first and foremost, but when customers buy equipment from us, we physically will bring them into town, train them on the equipment, uh, just make sure that they are familiar with how it works, how it operates, stuff like that. Um, I've primarily been taking our customers to some of the local breweries, Front Street Brewing, uh, Green Tree Brewery out in LeClaire. Uh, but you know, it's one of those things where I don't want to, I kind of feel like I'm interrupting their production on getting their products done and brewing on their equipment. So that was one of the things that we wanted to do is build out something of a showroom, something to do some R and D and then, uh, have some fun with it. Too. I want to touch on the R and D because one of yep. the things that separates your tanks from other tanks mm -hmm. is that these tanks and, and since the inception really these are designed by brewers yeah they know exactly where their hands need to be at certain points in the brewing process yeah whereas some tanks and, and systems might be made wonderfully by engineers mm -hmm. they might not know hey uh this button needs to be here at this point in the brew right. process or it would be easier if you were an arm's length of this so since the the beginning the very inception of this of these tanks they've been made by brewers, for brewers. Mm -hmm. As you know, this equipment was designed by Steve Zydema, who used to own and operate Front Street Brewery. Um, him and I had basically formed up a partnership between himself helping me with the sales and Crawford Company building the equipment. Um, he had all the ideas as far as, just like you said, Dave, where the buttons need to be, where the valves need to be. We were looking at it as far as the ergonomics for the brewer, that we're not having to walk around equipment to get this stuff, it's all within reach. Uh, but as we've been building this equipment, a lot of things have changed, a lot of things have evolved, a lot of things have actually improved, I would say. And uh, we've got some other neat things coming up as well on some of the newer equipment that we're doing. All right, well, what we want is the nickel tour, and we're gonna have okay. to use our imaginations. Although the beautiful thing is through the magic of television, we'll be able to come back when everything's all done. Yes. But we're gonna, you're gonna paint a picture. Yep. And we'll have to picture in our minds what this place is gonna look like once it's all said and done. Yep, no take, problem at all. Take us on that tour. Okay. Weave your magic web. All right, we're standing in the actual brew area itself. This is where the brewing will happen. This, all the brewing is gonna happen here. Okay. The equipment is physically gonna be moved over this way. There is gonna be a wall over here that divides the equipment. It's only going to come up so far, just as a, a break to keep our patrons and everybody out of the brewing area. And that's a TTB it's, thing. It's a you law. have to have a separation. Yep. And a TTB thing, and also uh, you don't want people, uh, you know, helping themselves to something out of a fermenter. Yeah, you don't that's want true you don't want people just drinking protein right out of the hose. <laughs> that's not the best. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have that wall there. Right. Uh, if we walk around here, we can do that. Yep. We have our main tap room on floor level. Okay. And um, there's going to has there been any discussion about how many different beers you're going to have? Yes, there has. All right, that's probably not a question he wants to answer. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things that rotate. Rotators. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Yep. We're going to have our our standard flagship beers. Oh, we yeah. should mention this too, because I thought this was gigantic news. You got your brewmaster 
Scott Shar. This guy knows what he's doing. He does. I mean, when I saw that you got him, I was excited for you guys to build this from the get-go. Mm -hmm. But then when I saw that you had him making the beer, I thought, holy cow, this is yeah. gonna be great. Yeah, he's he's a very integral part. The man's a wizard. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm looking yeah. forward to what he does. So this yep. is where he'll be doing his magic. Yeah. Uh, now this area here is, we're, we're, we're walking into where the public will be able to uh, Yeah, this is gonna be our tap room area here. Uh, there's gonna be a, a bunch of different tables in some booths here. Okay. As you can see over on that side, that's our bar area. Part of the bar is so the somewhat big, built. The bar will be there. Yep. Yep. Tables and booths here. Yep. When you walk into the brewery, yeah. um, that's a vestibule. And then there's gonna be couches and tables on both sides, that kind of a mirror image from one side to the other. And then we're gonna have a series of booths that run along this wall here. Okay. And then obviously that's our bar. I want to show you. I want to show you guys this. This. This is where a lot of the magic's going to happen, especially all summer long. Come this way. <laughs> uh, this is where the you're going to have a, a really nice patio space out yes. here. Yes. And this is where you will not only have uh, outdoor uh, outdoor drinking. Will we be able to mm -hmm. drink outside? Yep. Sure can. Uh, yep. uh, but you're going to have a fire pit out here, and then that's yep. where the food trucks are going to uh, park. Yep. And you've not only got electric for the food trucks, but and water, water hookup. Yep. So there'll be a variety of different food trucks here. Every time you come to Crawford Brew Works, it's possible you'll have a completely different food truck experience. Yes, yeah. and that's one of the things that we want to do. Uh, Bruce Grell, one of the partners in this at Owens Healthy Habits, is going to be on the other end of the building. Um, he's got a food trucks business or service. So yeah, that's. It's not just going to be his food truck here. We're going to have other food trucks. Kind of a rotational deal. So killer so. patio with a beautiful view of Devil's Glen, mm -hmm. and then you've got the bar here, yep. seats, tables. Lounge area vestibule. Yep. Dig it. So that's yep. this area. There's then the mezzanine, which is upstairs. That's where the parties go. That's where the parties go. Yes. <laughs> I hate to ask. Mm -hmm. I hate to ask. Because right now, these guys are hard at work making it happen. Yep. But if you had to say on camera, when will this place be? So you're going to hold me to it? No, no, no. <laughs> no. We all understand um, how these things work. But if you had to say, and you do May. have to say because you're on TV now, we'll be open in May. Sometime in May, 2018. Yep. Keith, we are so Thank excited you. for this place to Thank open. You for coming. It's going to be beautiful, and it's going to be open in May. It's Crawford Brew Works, right here on Devil's Glen in Bettendorf. Hey, Ma'am, what are you drinking? Oh, you don't even want to know. I'm. Drinking... I, I clearly, I do. I brought a television crew and a, and a microphone. I do want to know. I really do want to know. <laughs> I'm drinking Bush Light. Thank you. <laughs> there's nothing. Look, there's nothing wrong with drinking Bush Light. And we're moving on. It seems to me that the, the, the real decision maker around here has four legs. Uh, who is this good boy? And, and uh, that's kind of the mascot for the, yes. for the brewery, right? Yes, that, uh, that's Henry. Anthony, can we do that magic thing where you like do the wipe where it's like before and after? Is that something we can do? That's going to be Perfect. choice. 